The supplies needed are going to be a cordless drill with a 1 8 drill bit, a stud finder, a level, a multi-bit screwdriver with a bit that matches the screw size of the screws that come with the bookshelves. You're going to need a tip measure, a hammer that's not included in the photo, and the mounting hardware that is provided, which is six drywall anchors and six screws. First, you need to make sure that you don't have any studs where you want your bookshelves to be. And now I'm using my lever to make sure that the bookshelves are nice and even before I mark where they are going to be. Now this may take some time so just be patient and take your time to make sure everything is nice and even. Make sure to use a pencil instead of a pen or a permanent marker because if you make a mistake it is much easier to erase a mistake than it is to having to repaint your wall due to the marks left by a pen or permanent marker. Make sure to measure out your desired distance between each shelf before you start putting up the shelves. After making your necessary measurements, it's time to put your 1 8 drill bit in your drill. Now this can be tricky for beginners like me, so it took me a little longer than it would of someone with more experience. Yay! Success! Now it's time to put holes in the walls. So there I am, double checking my work. And I'm going to drill a hole in the wall. Now, I did forget to film me putting in the drywall anchors, but I will when I'm putting up the other shelf. So, after putting in your drywall anchors, you just screw in your screws with your multi-bit screwdriver with the bit that matches the screw size. All right, now it's time to put in a book. Now, your first book does have to be a hardcover book, and you have to adjust it for the cover to meet those little hinges in the bottom. Now, look at those beautiful books. So, I absolutely love those Dorothy Must Die books. They just look so good, especially now in my new bookshelf and my Rules of Civility book. Now that is a lovely bookshelf. Now we're going to drill more holes to the wall for the second shelf. Make sure that the hole is the right size for the drywall anchor and it has to be a snug fit and then you have to hammer it. It does take some time to get it all hammered in because it's such a snug fit. So as you see, I have to keep on going. Now I'm going to be drilling the second hole for the second shelf. And I'm going to hammer in the anchor. Then you put in the bookshelf. And the screw and then it's time to screw it in with your screwdriver. Now remember that while you're beginning to screw it in the bookshelf is going to be really wobbly and everything so just make sure to take your time after you're finished put in your first hardcover book connected as so and then just put in more beautiful books on top of more beautiful books and over here i'm showcasing gone girl wild and several gale character books now this is the third shelf you already know how to install it and i'm just showing you the books that i put on them this one's closer to the ceiling i really like how this bookshelf set came out and i look forward to getting more now i really appreciate you guys for watching i hope this was helpful don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share and this is how all three of them look you guys have a blessed day bye